my name is Grace and today I am going to read the Bible story. Today's the Bible title is God makes a way at the parting of the sea and the red sea and the Ten Commandments. Let's read. After Paro's son died, and ten plus, he left the Israel leave. They were near the Red Sea. When Paro was changed, his mind again and chased, chased after them. So like in the yesterday story, Paro's son left has that so they have gone to Paro said like Paro sent free so but like again Paro has changed his mind alright like Paro has changed his mind like to not go and like they're chasing them <coughs> when the Israel saw Paro Paro's chariots, they were afraid, but God told Moses to raise his stuff toward the Red Sea. God sent a strong wind and parted the Red Sea. So, so Paro's army were chasing the Israel again. Like the people were saying, like, why did you take out this and let this die like many people have said like that so he prayed and he rose his stuff to the red sea and god sent a strong wind and <coughs> sorry <laughs> it parted into half Oh, there's a diamond. <laughs> a dry part appeared, and the Israel walked straight through the Red Sea. There was a wall of water on each side of them. They arrived safely on the other side. So, then a dry land appeared. Like you can see the dry land there, the picture. And like the Red Sea was in part, it parted. So it is very... Um, strange thing. <laughs> well, you can see the water wall. Like, oh, I want to go there and see that thing. It is a dry land. Power followed <coughs> them into the sea. God told Moses to stretch out his hand. Then the sea rolled back again, and Paro and his army was drowned. So like now God said like to raise the stops. So the Paro's 
army all lie what dreamed. Question. Pyro and his army chased the Israel to capture them again in the Red Sea. False. Like Paro didn't catch. God led his people through a wilderness. He fed them and gave them water. <coughs> they camped it at Mount Sinai. Where God told Moses to meet them on the mountain top. So let God the save Israel people. And God said to meet to Moses on the mountain top. That you that thing. You know that that thing? What they're like? What they're picking up? Do you know what is this thing? Like this is called manna. Like God has gave them for food, and like God also. Like gave uh, oh, I don't know what I have to say. <laughs> anyway, this thing God has gave them gave this. Surrounded by fire and smoke, Moses climbed up to the top of the mountain, and God came down to meet him. So Moses was surrounded by fire because it is the top of the mountain. Uh. <laughs> Question Where did God tell Moses to meet them? Number one. The top of the mountain. <coughs> when God gave Moses the Ten Commandments on two stone tables, don't worship other gods, don't make idols, treat my name with respect, treat the sad best day as a special day. So God gave it ten commandments. Like in the ten commandments, they're written that what we should do to obey God. There's a diamond, the holy chest. Do you know in the holy chest there is a manna and Aaron's stuff. In the stuff like, uh. Flower has came out so also that and those ten commandments is in the chest the holy chest Wow just this very respects your <laughs> sorry respect your parents don't mother be loyal <coughs> to your husband and your wife. Don't steal. Don't lie. Don't invade people or that or what they know. Know the people knew who to obey God. So... The 
Hank comments can like spell out in two things. Like one is the promise with God, and one to five is the promise of God. Promise with God and six to ten is like it is a promise with myself. Like what should I do? Question. Did the Ten Commandments tell the Israel have to obey God? Yes. Yesterday I read the Bible story. Did it enjoy? Then next time I'll read another good story. Then see you next time. Bye.